Hey y'all, happy Thursday. It's October 1st, the beginning of a new month. Oh my God. It's uh, a month before my birthday month. This month is an interesting month. We have breast cancer awareness. Uh, as you know, my sister is a cancer survivor. Um, the one that's really close to me in age. We're like six years apart. And um, she was diagnosed January of last year. And um, she's gone through her treatment. Uh, she is cancer free. Um, and we're just praying that we can get her through all other adversity and through the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years with no problem. 25, 30, 30, as many God want us on earth. Um, because that's a difficult that's very difficult and it hit hard because it hit home, you know, cancer is in my, um, on my maternal side of the family, on my mother's side. And because my mom passed away, but she had a different form. My aunt passed away of a different form. My grandmother passed away of a different form. And one of my mom's brothers, uh, he also passed away of a form of cancer. So, you know, it hit hard when my sister was diagnosed in her 50s. She's in her 50s. She's in her early 50s. And she was diagnosed because it's around the same age my aunt was diagnosed. So, you know, everything plays on everything. And my aunt died fairly, passed fairly young. So, it took us for it took us for a doozy at the beginning of last year. But we made it through. Thank, with the grace of God, we made it through everything. So, uh, I sent some things to her uh, for the beginning of uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I always try to send her something at the end of uh, last year. I did the same thing. I sent her something at the end of September. So she got the things in the mail this morning. She called me. She got things in the mail yesterday. I sent it to her. Um, I think I mailed it out Monday and I did it over express mail. So she got, she was actually able to pick it up and she picked it up this morning. She called me a few minutes ago and she was like, uh, T, you didn't have to do all this. I said, who? I was doing all this. I said, that's for you. That's you. You the survivor. So she's she's ecstatic about that um i was happy i was able to you know do that for her and my niece called me this morning she said oh you didn't have to do all this before eight o'clock in the morning well nine o'clock in the morning all this before 9 a.m so now um i'm coming to you guys with a haul i have a haul it's a collective haul of shoes for the fall and winter you know, every year you try to freshen up your wardrobe, add, take something out, add something in. Well, since I'm working from home, I work mainly, I, I won't lie to you, I wear mainly graphic tees or t-shirts while I'm working with a pair of tights or jeans. That's my attire and some really soft socks. I love soft socks. I picked up some socks from, um, what is this place called? Five Below. They have the salt, some soft socks. They're like three bucks. But I already got them on. I don't feel like bending down and taking them off again. But I have another pair. I'll bring those at a later time. Whew. Excuse me. And I wear my fuzzy socks because sometimes I have a, the temperatures a little bit too cool in the house. But I'm not changing that thermostat. I'm not turning my heater on until they say uh, it's going to be a freeze. Because I don't like being hot or uncomfortable at night. No. But anyway, I picked up some shoes from... Um, Target. These are the A New Day brand. I picked up two pair, uh, two pairs of mule, well, my mules, slides, whatever you call them. Uh, open back. One, I heard one lady say that's open back shoes. I said okay, but they were twenty percent off. They were regular twenty five bucks. I, I got them for twenty. This is the full suede ones. And you can wear these with just about anything. My th my thing is, I won't lie to you, animal print, um, any type of animal print, reptile print, whatever uh, shoe is a, it's just like wearing black. So I got a black pair because you can't go wrong with a black pair of shoes. You just can't. They had a tote pair. I wanted all four pair, but I know sometimes I get overboard when I buy multiples, but y'all know me. I buy multiples of just about everything I buy. I have three, four, five of the same ones. And I got this. You know, I had to get snake print, but the snake print has like this P 
cute kind of stud on it. Oh, yeah, that added a little bit more edginess to it. But I actually like them. And what I like about them, my foot is in there. But I still have, like, this little bit of space right here. Just a tad little bit of space right here. Because I hate when your foot be on there. And, you know, say, for instance, you're walking and your foot is right down. Mm-mm. Uh, mm -mm. Just give me a little one. Just a little. And Target is on point. I'm telling y'all. Y'all looking for transitional pieces for the CDs. If you're going back into the office and you're looking for transition pieces, like say for instance, you have a dress and you want to do something to bring it to fall, get you some tights, get you some, get you put your little cardigan over it, your little denim jacket, whatever you have. That's how I I move from season to season. Um, you know, I have a a friend who will go out and buy an entire fall wardrobe, an entire winter wardrobe. I told her, I said, baby girl, no ma'am. I'm taking them same pieces. It could be a, a t-shirt. I'm going to put that cute little cardigan over, that cute little jacket over, that cute little whatever layering piece to get me going. I said, I'm not going to be out here. Um, I said, I know I, I know I make a little bit of money, but good Lord, not like that. Well, I'm going back. And then she'll go buy a whole bunch of stuff. And when she wash it, it, it shrinks up. I can't live like that. So, anywho. And she know who I'm talking about because she watched my videos. She's a she's a real friend in real life. But she watched my videos and she know I will talk about it in her face. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I picked up some Crocs. I picked up the Crocs with the fur in the middle by accident. But I actually like them because now I can wear them the way I want to. So, anywho, you know, they're putting all little different things on Crocs. And you know it wouldn't be. If it wasn't snake, zebra, or leopard print, it wouldn't be me, right? So, I picked these up from Crocs online. And they are so cute. I can't wait to wear these. I have something. I have a, a cute little outfit in my simple little basic outfit. And as I say it, um... Then I picked up some booties in my Forever 21 haul, which I haven't posted. But you know, I always do the duck boots for the past two seasons. And I wanted another pair of leopard print. I'm ticked off though, because I got these from Forever 21. And this is a brand, the Yoki brand. They sell it at Shoe Deal. They sell the Yoki brand shoes at Shoe Deal. And I can guarantee you, I'm going to probably see this shoe at Shoe Deal. But I got these like 20% off of the price as well because I had a coupon code. So I wasn't tripped out about that. Then I picked up some shoes from Steve Madden. Steve Madden, y'all know I love my tennis. And y'all know how I am about the tennis. I still have my ones from last year. My Cliff. These are the Cliff. Cliff um, Tennis by Steve Madden. This is the Cliff Black and Gold. They have false weight in the front of a black and gold snake print. It's like a, a snake print on the side. Some glitter, gold in the back. I mean, I will wear these um, during football season. I will also wear these just to wear them with something for work because we can dress up and down for work which I, that's what I always love about it if we have to go into the office um, but this is they are cute, they're comfortable and they, they fit me so I can wear them on the weekends I can wear them when I want to so that was a pair of shoes I got the Cliff shoes I also picked up Excuse that back there or nothing. That's my um, screen. I always keep my screen up when I'm on the uh, Anyway, I picked these up. These are called the Chrysan. This is a multi-print Chrysan. Now, they have camouflage in the front with the elastic across here. Uh, leopard print in the back. And it's like a little print on the sole of the shoe. These are cute. These are comfortable. And both of the Steve Madden shoes are in a nine and a half. Because when I get a 10, them suckers feel like clown shoes and they slide up and down off my feet. So I always have to size down in his shoe for some strange reason. 
So these are cute, they're comfortable, and I know I can get a lot of wear out of these too. So that's it for Steve Madden. And my last pair of shoes uh, I picked up was from Nordstrom Rack. I was online one day last month, at the beginning of the month. I was online and I wanted another pair of Uggs. I had been looking for a pair of Uggs last season. Uh, but I had a brown pair. I've had those for a couple seasons and I actually got rid of them. But they were uh, the suede. But these are the leather Uggs. I got these for, um, these jokers were on sale for $109 online. And I got them in black. I wanted another pair of black. I wanted another pair of Uggs, but I definitely say I wanted them in black. And these are the leather ones. Um, but the reason I didn't get the regular like uh, suede ones again, because after a while, I don't know, I'm not hard on shoes, but after a while, I just don't like how the shoe looks. And I don't crook mine to the side or anything like that. Probably because I don't wear my shoes. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't wear shoes a long period of time like for me to dog out a pair of shoes i really have to wear them 24 7 running in the rain running in the door running in. but i just didn't like and i think i had those for maybe about five years if i'm not mistaken five five or six years so it was time for a new pair of those so basically it was like a re-up but now i said since i've gotten rid of those uh i actually I sent those to the uh um, i sent those to play-doh's closet and my last what you call them and the lady was like they're in good condition i'm like yeah but i've had them for so long but i just didn't like how i look after a while i think i know that they've been worn for a while and i've had them for a while so i was ready to get another pair so that's it for my little haul uh, i do have more videos to come i do have a clothing haul that i can present to you guys I also uh, went to Dollar Tree. I have a small Dollar Tree haul, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I went to Five Below. I picked up this candle at Five Below, but it's weak. It's weak, in my opinion. It's not. It's weak. So, anywho, I'll, I'll chit chat with you guys later. And um, if you have any requests or you want to see anything, how anything fits, just let me know. I am working on my weight, so don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.